In this video, we're going to learn how to find the slope of a line passing through a pair of points. In order to find the slope of a line passing through a pair of points, we need to know the formula for finding the slope. That formula is m, which represents slope, equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So when we look at our coordinate pairs, we could let this first set be x1, y1, and the second set x2, y2. So let's go ahead and plug these values into our formula. m equals y2 0 minus y1, which is 4, 0 minus 4, divided by x2, which is negative 2, minus x1, which is 3 halves. Once we plug our values into the formula, we need to do the math. 0 minus 4 equals negative 4 negative 2 minus 3 halves. Well, here we have an integer minus a fraction. In order to add or subtract, we need to make sure that they have the same denominator. My lowest common denominator is 2. The negative 2 we can think of as negative 2 over 1. So our goal is to give the negative 2 a denominator of 2. In order to do that, I can multiply the numerator and denominator of my fraction by 2 over 2. So now we have the 0 minus 4, which gives negative 4. 2 times negative 2 gives negative 4. 2 times 1 gives 2 minus 3 halves. From here, we can combine our fractions on the bottom in the denominator so that they become negative 7 halves. But we're not quite done yet. What we have is an integer divided by a fraction. We can sometimes call that a complex fraction. In order to simplify it, I'm going to do what I did over here and rewrite my integer negative 4 as negative 4 over 1 divided by negative 7 over 2. Now I have a problem that's set up as the division of two fractions. When we divide fractions, we can't divide them directly. We have to multiply one by the reciprocal of the other. So negative 4 over 1. We're going to hold, keep it the way it is. And we're going to take the fraction on the bottom, this negative 7 halves, and flip it to its reciprocal, negative 2 over 7. From here, it's a matter of just multiplying our two fractions, which we do directly across. Negative 4 times negative 2 equals positive 8, and 1 times 7 equals 7. So the slope of the line passing through points 3 halves, 4, and negative 2, 0 is 8 over 7. That completes this example, and I hope you enjoyed the video.